from the Laycock Center in Williamsburg. Welcome to Tribe Athletics TV and head coach Mike London's office. And we got to talk, uh, Coach London, uh, all about spring ball. Uh, tomorrow is the spring game at noon at Zabel Stadium. And coach, how are things progressing so far? Uh, they're progressing nicely. Very excited about uh, where we are right now. Obviously, having to replace uh, you know three coaches, but getting three really quality guys in, um, putting in schemes and systems that uh, have changed a little bit, but at the same time, the carryover to a lot of the things we've been doing is very uh, similar. So putting those things together, and this being our our, our 12th practice of the 15 that that's allowed, um, culminating in the spring game, and then we'll we'll practice a couple practices after. But uh, right now we're. We're healthy. We're, we're doing the things necessary to get better as a football team. Uh, the players that played last year are showing that they have signs of being really good again for us this season. So a lot of positive things going on. Coach London, uh, Dave Johnson uh, did a great article, and you can read that on tribeathletics.com uh, about uh, your idea to have spring ball this early. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go over all the reasons because you've had to answer that question many times. But have the players em embraced uh, this uh, uh, February uh, spring ball? I, I believe I believe they have because the end product is they're off a lot earlier. <laughs> uh, you know, so the ability that uh, once spring break occurs, that uh, that that's it. They can concentrate on academics, concentrate as we've decided uh, for our sports performance staff to get the players bigger, faster, stronger. Anybody that has any injuries or, or lingering things that uh, you know have a chance to, to take care of those, rehab those type of things. So going into fall camp, then uh, we're 100 percent getting ready for uh, our schedule. Tell us a little bit about expectations. Your particular as a head football coach expectations tomorrow, and maybe uh, bouncing off what our fans attending can be looking for tomorrow afternoon. Uh, you know, well, one of the things about going early is you have to deal with the depth issue. Now, we've lost 27 seniors, so that's that's a little different in that you know, we normally would have a two, three deep, but uh, we have not had the, the experience of having those numbers. But at the same time, we want to do something where offensively we're competing against our defense. We set up a scoring system of, uh, of how we can make sure that uh, offense, you get six points for scoring a touchdown and three points for kicking a field goal. Defense, if you uh, you know if you get interception, that's six points. If you hold the uh, offense from scoring within the red zone, that's three points. If you hold them on a fourth down, we give them points for that as well. So we're trying to make it competitive so that the offense, you take care of what you can control. And that's scoring points. Defensively, if you uh, you know make your you know make your defensive stops like a three and out, uh, things like that are significant in the total total outcome of a game, then you'll get points. And so. Uh, you know, both sides will have a chance to, uh, you know, to, to, to get the full complement of running all their plays. Coaches have said they're going to hold off on their, on their trick plays and all that, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you could see some. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and that's, that's, that's kind of how we, we, we've practiced. We've, we've competed against each other. Um, you know, we've done things from a situational standpoint to get us better as a team. So I would, you'll see a lot of the same things we've been practicing out there on, on Saturday. A couple of guys don't really, really uh, I know it's a it's a team game, but uh, our fans are always uh, curious about the starting quarterback. Uh, first of all, uh, who who is uh, playing well right now at that quarterback position? Well, obviously Hollis is doing a great job. You know, he's he's getting he's getting used to you know the the system that we have, but at the same time, we're going to utilize his skill set that made him uh, a very good player last year for us. Uh, Teddy Hefter has done a good job as well, of uh, being a team leader. Um, you know Donovan Lester, Owen Wright. You could just you know just name off a, a, a lot of guys that that even though we lost 27 players, seniors, there's a lot of guys that are back that have played in the games last year for us. So offensively, they've done well on the defensive side. Um, you know you've got uh, a, a defensive line with you know Carl Fowler in there. Uh, we call him Termite. You know. Um, as our nose tackle is doing well, our, our, our DBs, Miles Hayes, uh, the, you know, the, the guys that played a lot for us last year, they're they're back there playing well. Trey Watkins, uh, our, our linebacker, Jack Irwin, they, they've done a good job of picking up where we left off, and that their learning curve has really improved and becoming really good players for us this spring. And a guy named Bronson Yoder, who uh, is a tremendous talent on both sides of the football, will be on defense tomorrow. That's the plan. Um, you know, there was a there was a, a struggle, a, 
a battle royal between uh, who is going to get Bronson uh, on offense or defense. And, and obviously, I always like to ask the players because of where your heart and where your mind is, then that's where you want to be. And, and Bronson wants to play, you know, in the secondary. But also, he knows that there, there are going to be some plays for him offensively. He's going to be involved in our kicking game. So we still want those touches to occur for him. Coach, uh, thanks for joining us, and I, I know you're busy uh, this afternoon, and your staff will uh, be on hand. It is a noon start at Zabel Stadium, and got good weather. I mean, for, for some folks, uh, you know, behind your back, we're saying for February 29th for a, a spring game, it could be six inches of snow. You got a break, Coach? Well, you know, um, that's. I, I remember uh, last year uh, in March there was a there was a snow that kind of you know that shut us down a little bit, but. Uh, again, it's uh, you know you're at the whelm of uh, Mother Nature, but at the same time, it's been really uh, really good weather for us, yeah. uh, fall weather so to speak. Sure. Um, you know, our, we have a, a new coaching staff in terms of three guys that are that have been acclimated to what's going on as well. Feel really po confident about them, and I'll just go into that if you don't yes. mind. Uh, you know, Jack Armstrong was a, a former player here that uh, was our quality control last year, and uh, he was a volunteer. And you know, so when a position is open. You get all kind of resumes and all kind of people that, you know, they're good coaches that want to join your staff. But Jack just lived what we do, what we're all about last season. He knows this school and giving him an opportunity for his first full-time job, um, you know, pr promote from within. I thought that was important. I, I remember years ago, Coach Laycock gave me my first full-time job. So uh, Jack's a young coach. He'll, be, he'll do well. Daryl Blastock was also a quality control guy for us last year, but um, his knowledge of the game, he's going to coach the outside backers, and that's what he played in the NFL. That's what he played in college. So the position that he played is the position, that he's, the position he's going to coach, and he's done a great job this spring with us. And then lastly is Christian uh, uh, Taylor has done a phenomenal job coming in and being a guy and saying, hey, listen, how can I help? take what we already have and also move it forward. Um, offensively, there's some really neat things we've done um, where he's come from, uh, University of uh, San Diego. They were uh, in the top three of scoring offense, um, of total, total offense and yards per play. So, you know, we went from 13 points to averaging 26 points a game this season. Last year's offense for where Coach Taylor's coming from was averaging up about 40 points. So it's always good to have uh, an explosive offense and a guy that's been there, done that. It's been a finalist for the FCS Coordinator of the Year, all kind of accolades. And so the, the three guys that, uh, that, are, that are on our staff now full time are, are great people, great coaches, and they, they're a, a, a sorely added uh, amount of guys that can come not only with the recruiting class, but guys that have gotten older and more mature. So when you add really good veteran coaches or two coaches that are veterans and a young guy that wants to do it, then it's just going to make us a better football team. So we're excited about where we are as a team, the recruits coming in, what we got going on, our attitude on both sides of the ball, uh, the kicking game, all those things are something we address from a recruiting standpoint. So, um, you know, things are looking up. and. Uh, you know, hopefully there's a good day today and, and uh, everybody stays injury free, you know, and, but at the same time, it's been a fantastic spring for us thus far. Noon kick. We'll see you at Zabel Stadium.